That's awesome, man. <laughs> Dude, this thing's huge. All right. Can I put it right here on the grass? I know you have a lot of like other deliveries, so I'm gonna try to unwrap this pretty quick. Thank you, brother. When they send these, they wanna make sure the driver is still here, just in case, you know? Like, well, they need to, we need to return it. Like if it has like forklift damage or anything like that. Cause otherwise, it'll take forever to get another one to replace it if it did have some damage. I've already been waiting for this thing since like the end of January. I guess it got stuck in Texas. Yeah, sorry, what was your name? Daniel, Daniel nice to meet you, bro. Awesome. See anything? No? I think we're good. Oh, there's a drive. Well, cool, Daniel. Appreciate it, bro. Oh, that's thank cool. You. All right, Daniel, thank you. Oh, guys, it's here. It's here. Oh, I know what their screws are for. All right. Little tackle box. That's the paddle holder that those screws are for. Here's the the drive. Let's unbuckle this. Oh, <laughs> so sick. All right. So that's gonna go down there. Sweet. All right, guys. So as you saw, this kayak was just delivered here at the house, courtesy of Old Town Kayaks. Why? Because they want to get feedback from West Coast fishermen. They have a lot of people who use these on the East Coast and down South. So they sent one complimentary to get my feedback. So guys, the next few videos are gonna really go in depth and actually use this kayak. It is the Big Water 132, 13 foot, two inch pedal kayak from Old Town. Man, guys, and, and really quick, I, this has to be said, it wouldn't be possible without you guys, you loyal subscribers who've been following and watching and interacting with the channel. Thank you guys so much. Uh, you keep it going. You keep uh, me excited to go out and make some cool content for you guys. And without that content, Old Town probably wouldn't have contacted me and sent this beautiful new kayak and it just means a lot. So with that being said, I'm definitely, definitely grateful. <laughs> this is like just a really cool moment because it really represents new species, new adventures, a lot of cool shared memories uh, with you guys because a lot of what we do on the channel is based off of surf fishing and fishing from shore. So it's pretty exciting. But we were already planning on getting some kayaks. Though, we for were both planning of us, right? on getting some kayaks for both of us. Um, it, that's the key word, both of us, because um, I didn't want him to go out by himself. So any kayak fishermen out there that have a kayak, call him. I don't want him to be out there by himself. He is that person that will go out by himself. And I don't like that right now. <laughs> I want him to be out with a buddy or a friend just so that way there's safety in numbers. That whole dream of ordering two kayaks, one for each of us, was put far onto the back burner because we had uh, a remodel done a remodel in the house done, yes. and so many other things going kitten. on. Yeah, cat, <laughs> um, just a lot of things to where uh, the kayak didn't make much sense, but mm -hmm. that's what makes this even more special. So yeah. uh, thank you, Old Town. And, and, and they, they did send it free just so that I can, you know, give my opinions on it. But I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, for a company to step up and do that and take a gamble, I mean, this retails, this kayak plus tax is probably going to push you close to three grand. But for a company to do that, it's going to be hard not to, you know, be a little bit biased. But I, I'm going to do my best to make sure that I show you guys things that I would like improved or things that I think could be better 
but based on other reviews and things that I've read online, this is gonna be a more than formidable uh, kayak. And this actually was the same platform as the old Old Town Predator. And I do wanna give you guys a little bit of history. I have been a fan of Old Town for quite a while. Uh, I do have a friend named Jesse White, who's actually gonna be visiting me next month. And we used to go kayak fishing and he actually had a tandem. And uh, he's the one who really got me interested in Old Town as a brand. They've been around for a really long time, but man, let's, let's just take a quick look at this thing. And I did own a Hobie for a while. I ended up selling that because I didn't really think kayak fishing was for me until I really started hitting the salt water. Since then, I've borrowed Martin's kayak and caught halibut off of that. And then like Veronica Ooh, said, we cool were in shot. San Diego having a fun time. So kayak you? fishing is definitely the next evolution, the next step. And again, you, you're, it's just gonna be better adventures, but let's take a look at this thing. It's probably around a hundred pounds, not gonna lie. I believe it's like 80 pounds unrigged, but it's gonna be really cool to test this out. This has the weight capacity of 500 pounds. So that's peep person, gear, and anything else that you could fit within that threshold. And it's supposed to be rated for again, that 500 pounds. So we could fit a bunch of halibut on this thing for sure. What comes with it when it's shipped is you get, of course, the platform. There's just a few things that I wanna point out that are really nice. I like the deck. The deck is a soft foam. So you're supposed to be able to stand on this and it's supposed to be pretty stable still. So definitely on the lakes, fishing for bass, I'll be able to cast off of it as a platform when it's not too rocky out there. It's got a really nice hatch that's supposed to be one hand operation, just like that. Secure. And then in there is a pretty deep well goes all the way through. One really cool thing is that this boat already has a provided battery bag that is suspended off of the bottom of the hull and that keeps your battery dry for any electronics that you might have. We're gonna work on getting this thing all rigged up with a fish finder, but I've already you know, purchased a couple things, the cart and the extender for my truck bed. In regards to the fish finder, I'm gonna install one of those and there's actually a recessed part under this kayak where the transducer fits perfectly to where you won't damage it if you go in shallow. So we'll see that in a future video. This one in particular is in the camo color. I decided to go with that. There's actually three different colors available for this boat. And actually, if you are interested in this boat and wanna learn more about the Big Water 132, there is a link in the description that is attached to this YouTube channel so that Old Town knows that you were sent to their website by yours truly. So if you guys are interested, definitely click the link below. Sponsored. Not sponsored, hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Uh, another thing that it has up front is a molded in grab handle instead of just like a cable. So there's less of a chance of any damage on that. And then there's also plenty of other things that you can rig onto. There's these plates that you can screw and mount things to that are replaceable. So you, you don't have to worry about drilling into the boat itself. I do plan when I do put my fish finder on to drill at least two holes, but it's going to be on the structure that doesn't jeopardize the total strength of, of the boat, which if you guys are familiar or have read any reviews on the Old Town, the reason it does have a bit of w more weight than uh, most kayaks is because the hull is actually a lot thicker plastic. So even in that hot weather, it's not going to flex much at all. Speaking of the hull, this boat does have a lifetime warranty on the hull from Old Town and the PDL Drive actually has a warranty of five years against any defects or build quality. So that's definitely a company that stands behind their product. It also has gear tracks, accessory mounts that you can replace as well. So if you ever damage one of these, you can just swap them out really quick. Also, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comments below. I try to get to every single comment. And if you guys wanna see the journey evolve and are interested in the Old Town Big Water 132, then definitely hit the subscribe button because there's gonna be plenty of adventures to come 
on this new boat. It does have a nice storage compartment under the seat itself. Looks like it stays pretty dry, but this is also mainly for access if you're going to be running more wiring, access to the mid hull right here. And then you have more of those bungee one hand operation bungee straps right here. What's really cool about this space is it's nice and deep. Actually all throughout the kayak, the walls are super high so that when you're on the water, water splashing over isn't going to be that big of an issue. There's plenty of scupper holes for drainage and it does have three molded in rod holders. The way that the boat operates, which is really cool, is the rudder is deployed by this handle right here. Once you pull this handle, boom, deployed, you lift it back up and bam, out of the way. So surf launching, surf beaching uh, is going to be super, super easy. And then one last thing that I did want to point out um, while we're doing this sort of quick unboxing is what makes old town stand out in terms of the the rudder is when it's down i'll just put it this way when it's down and you're controlling the rudder from your left hand right here there's actually a tensioner that comes right here and you can adjust the tension on that rudder so that you're not wandering sometimes on boats that are pedal drive and you just want to go straight you just keep on pedaling and eventually since the rudder is so loose it actually wants to turn so if you wanted to just go straight you have to keep your hand down in a straight position but old town thought of that and with this tension knob you can make it tight and now it doesn't have as much play and you can actually lock it all the way down to where it's going to keep that rudder straight in that straight position so that you don't have to continue to wander you can just keep on pedaling and know that you're going straight so it's a few things that i like about this for sure does come with the seat uh one thing that a lot of people do talk about is they wish that it has a, a bit more adjustments all right i'll figure that out in a bit so I did figure out the seat, those little pieces that were dangling off uh, are actually releases right here. You pull them and you can adjust the seat forward or back depending on the length of your legs. So when you use the PDL drive, you can get some good extension while your knees are still bent. Going back to the seat, it is a very breathable mesh, which is going to be really, really nice. It's always important that you stay dry and comfortable when you are out on the water. Uh, it's more of a plastic mesh and it seems to have uh, a lot of support. It almost <laughs> reminds me of the kind of material that you see in patio furniture, but it definitely seems durable. All the seams seem double uh, stitched, so it should be able to take a lot of wear and tear. And then you can actually adjust the the seating position with these straps and what's really cool what old town did is instead of just leaving these loose these straps actually slide and they don't just like flap in the wind so it's attached so that's pretty nice going back to that pdl drive just wanted to show you guys uh, how it operates you do have this bar and you can lock it in you could fully remove it but once you lock it in place it just fall, falls right into that hole. And what's beautiful about that is you don't have to make sure that the prop is in a certain orientation to be able to pull it out or put it back in. Another thing that's really cool that they built into the PDL drive itself is a dry storage, which is pretty cool because you could fit your cell phone in there. You could fit anything that you want to keep dry. For this boat, it's probably going to be like the remote to the drone. Other things, keys are probably another thing. Speaking of keys, I do not feel scared at all to put anything in this because this drive actually floats. That's one of the things that Old Town designed into the PDL drive is that if you 
for some reason drop it overboard, it's not gonna sink to the bottom of the ocean or the bottom of the lake. Last thing is it does have a bit of foam grip on the pedal, so it's not gonna slip, but it's gonna give definitely hours of uh, enjoyable pedaling. Uh, another thing that I didn't mention earlier is it does have storage compartments on the inside of the walls to hold any like extra baits that you're wanting to quickly throw into the sides there. Under the seat is actually a good place to put the tackle box that comes with the boat. You can put that right under there. And then it also has a smaller cup holders as well as these nice grab handles right here. Overall, just first impressions, the boat is definitely solid and it seems like it's gonna be a really stable craft. It's 36 inches wide, so it's definitely gonna be stable, but Old Town's really proud of this design. And again, based on others' reviews, it should be a very fast boat. Guys, I'm just stoked about this. Uh, again, I, there's no way to sugarcoat it. I am very, very grateful to you guys and Old Town. And uh, I definitely promise to put some cool adventures on film for you guys. What else is left to say except it's time to rig up and start going. So the next few videos are definitely gonna be on this bad boy. So thank you guys again. Oh yeah, one last thing I totally forgot. Leave in the comments below what we should name this boat. I'm gonna really uh, think about that one. Whoever comes up with the dopest name will pin it in the top comment.